I promise to be your loving wife, to be the person who is always there for you, to champion your causes, be concerned about your health, and to add my skills to any of your projects. I promise to offer you other perspectives when you get upset, and to understand your feelings and always be on your side, just like you always do for me. I promise to watch my words when I get irritable and be gentle with you, even though I know you always instantly forgive me. I vow to always appreciate the magnificence and humanness of all that you are and acknowledge that the wonder of our life right now is because of who you are and who we are together. I wish to make the following vows to Barbara. I thought you would stop crying. <laughs> um, first, I vow to do 90% of the cooking. <laughs> um, I also promise to honor the word obey as long as it applies to me obeying you rather than you obeying me. <laughs> um, I vow to keep separate refrigerators <laughs> uh, and n never eat anything to change its colors after three days. Um, I vow to be very, very respectful of Barbara's sleep while I'm watching football at 4 a.m. and try to control my language when the ref makes a bad call. <clears throat> um, this is not a vow, just a statement. You know, sports, sports watching has no day off. <laughs> there, there is at least one game televised every day of the year, including leap year. You're welcome. Um, I vow never to write another letter to the editor without your consent. Um, I vow never to insist that you wear my team colors on game day. <laughs> I vow to limit my Oreo and Raymond hat collection to less than 15 per team. Um, seriously, continuing their vows, I vow to answer all of your questions um, without complaining. Um, I vow to take walks and swims without 15 minutes of bitching and moaning. <laughs> On a serious note, I vow to smile every time I see you smile, and I vow to can... <laughs> well, same thing, I'm serious. Um, <clears throat> I vow to continue our wonderful life together. Oh. Um, with honesty and all the respect I have. And I vow to love you and adore you like I do now. And I vow never to forget how lucky a man I am for having you in my life. And I vow to thank God each day for this gift that has been bestowed on me. You. Exchange, sir, as a 
to remind us that a circle is the symbol of the sun, the earth, and the universe. Be, be together in the harmony and let the winds of, winds of the heaven dance between you. Empower each other and allow your relationship to evolve to its highest purpose. Dawn, you need to go first. All right. Dawn, and placing this ring on Barbara's finger, repeat after me. Barbara, this ring I give you. Barbara, this ring I give you. My personal promise of love. My personal promise of love. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Barbara, in placing this ring on Don's finger, repeat after me. Don, this ring I give you. Don, this ring I give you. My personal promise of love. My personal promise of love. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Now, there is a tradition in the Jewish tribes, which is in their lineage, and which in which the groom stomps on a glass and breaks it. The breaking of... This isn't easy. The breaking of the glass is a reminder of the frailty of marriage, that sometimes a single thoughtless act, a cruel word, a breach of trust, can damage a marriage in ways that are very un difficult to undo. Just like it would be so difficult to undo the breaking of this glass. As these waters nourish the earth and sustain life, may your constant love nourish and sustain you both until the end of time. Congratulations. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And kisser. <laughs> Dinner will be served in approximately a half hour. <laughs>